In this tutorial, we are making swim trunks. Welcome to Happy Sewing. In this video, we are using scissors, rotary cutter, clips, glue pen, pins, elastic band, the fabric, and the sewing pattern. We start with cutting the fabric. The fabric we are using is lycra, a fabric that is made for swimwear. The lycra fabric is slippery, so fasten the pattern with pins and be careful while cutting. We are using the happy sewing pattern to make these swim trunks. We cut two back panels, two front panels, and two side panels. The first pieces we are going to join are the back panels and the side panels. We have all the fabric inside out when we line them up and we use clips to keep them in place. I do also recommend using glue to avoid it from slipping while sewing. I'm overlocking the seams using my Baby Lock Victory Server with a setup that allows for some stretch. You don't have to overlock it, but please use a good seam for stretch and the correct needles. With the back and side panels joined, we can start working on the front panel. We align the front panels with the sides, and we apply clips and glue to keep them in place. We are overlocking these seams, doing the same as we did on the back and side panels. With these side seams in place, we can join the front panels. If you want to sew the seams down, you have to do it before you join the front panels. We are folding the top and the bottom of the shorts. At the top, we will add an elastic band that I will show you later. So, let's start with the bottom. I make one fold on each side. The fold is 1.18 inches, or 3 centimeters. We can finally close the opening with the inner seam. We align the inside like this and apply clips. We then overlock the inner seam using my Baby Lock Victory Serger. Now it's time for the top fold, and we start with the elastic band. Measure the waist and then subtract two centimeters. When the band is cut, we have to join the ends. We sew one to two times across the band, forward and backwards. When I install the band, I like to place four clips with equal distances between them. One clip is for the back. The clip that is right across is from the front, and the other two are for the sides. I sew the elastic band in place on a regular sewing machine using three-point stitching. I sew right up to the clips before I remove them. That's how we install the elastic band. And the top fold is folding the top over the elastic band like I'm doing here. I sew the top fold using the Baby Lock cover stitch machine. And with the band in place, all that is left to do is fastening or removing any loose threading. And the swim trunks are complete! Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would also like to remind you about the subscriber function on YouTube. So please subscribe if you want to get notified when we publish a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon and happy sewing.